New at six, when the first enslaved Africans arrived to English North America in 1619, they landed in Hampton. Tonight we're hearing more about where, from where they came, Angola in Africa. The story comes from members of the Tucker family who are believed to be descendants of the first Africans. Janet Roach tells us they recently returned from their homeland. A trip of a lifetime, 10,000 nautical miles away to another continent, another country, so far yet so close to home. It was amazing to be a welcomed and for people to say welcome home. You may have heard of the Tucker family of Hampton. 403 years ago, in 1619, it's believed two of their ancestors were on the first slave ship to land in English North America at Point Comfort, present day Hampton at Fort Monroe. For years, the family has researched the connections between then and now that recently included a visit to Angola from where the first Africans originally came. It's amazing listening to them uh -huh. to keep the culture alive. These are some of the homes. Vincent, his sister Wanda, and their cousin were embraced, treated like celebrities, and flocked by the media at every stop. This trip came from a personal invitation from Angola's president. There we are, and here's all the uh, state officials or government officials mm -hmm. to do a, a, a official meet and greet. What they discovered was a better understanding of how what happened 400 years ago correlates to some of the poverty in the country even today. As the slave trade expanded, it had a huge impact on the economy because the young were being taken. And so they left the, the elderly there. As time went on, they had to still come back to some way of functioning as a, as a society under um, Portuguese rule. Portuguese is still the dominant language. Settlers in the 1600s warred with the Africans over gold and territory, while rulers in their homelands demanded slaves for free labor, which brings us to perhaps the most emotional moment of the trip for the Tuckers, dipping their feet in the Kwanzaa River, where the ships filled with enslaved Africans left port. We can just imagine how that journey was for the enslaved, taken down to the river and, and hauled away. It was, it was very touching. Another gratifying moment, being presented with the bust of Queen Nzinga, a fierce female leader who challenged the Portuguese and the slave trade. The first Africans were captured from a Portuguese ship that was raided by British pirates. Like America, Angola is still learning the 1619 history and its impact on both countries today. My mind began to bring everything together. The stories I've been hearing, they started coming alive. There are so many missing pieces on both continents. I feel empowered to identify myself as Angolan American now because I can say I know where my family came from. To me, that's powerful. Jenna tells us this trip was as much about looking forward as it was to look back. The Tuckers are working to form economic and educational partnerships with Angolans.